saying right over there. Hello, Maurizio. Um, how do you analyse that game, given that there was a lot of pressure from City, a lot of shots, and you, you get a point out of it? How I uh, analyse the game? Mm. I think they were better. I think they dominate the game. It's so clear that um, was so clear the game. Um, of course, um, with the different circumstance, both team. I think uh, I am happy with the result. It was a very positive result for us. Uh, one point here. I think uh, yes, um, happy uh, because the point. But um, like I told after the the game against Aston Villa, we need to improve a lot. I think the team or the squad is, is, is still unsettled. We need to wait until the transfer window in Europe be closed to see which player we are going to have. And, and of course, that is not easy, never easy. And we will face today the last uh, uh, Premier League winner. The last two seasons, uh, they were winning. Um, they are a very consistent team, uh, improving every season. Uh, Signing players um, that came from different teams that they were winning, like Cancelo from Juventus. Um, you know, we are in a different process. That is why um, we cannot compare both teams. Um, the most important is the faith and the, and the belief that we show today and the character. Because for two times uh, going down in the in the score, uh, come back on the result, and after one nil, one one, and, and of course after two one, two two. And in the way that we fight, I'm so happy. But in the same time, I am critic because uh, we need to improve a lot. But in the same time, I think we are going to improve with this type of result, positive result, four points after two difficult games. Um, I think it's, um, it's a very positive, positive start from the season, of the season. Mauricio, Mer um, you've put a lot of faith in Kyle Walker-Peters at right back. What's the plan at the end of last season for him to start this season as your first choice right back? And how pleased have you been with his first two performances? I think still he needs to improve. You know, uh, he, he needs to improve. He's still so young. Uh, it's not easy when you are a backup player. Um, you know, your excitement and, and your motivation is massive. And when you have the possibility, it's like uh, uh, an amazing opportunity. You know, and and you are uh, focused two hundred percent to try to show that you can. Uh, play, but when you start to feel the responsibility that you are the first choice, we'll see how it's going to behave. Uh, today, I think, was a massive proof to play again one of the best uh, offensive players like uh, Sterling. And I think, when uh, I think good, uh, another that thing that needs to improve, but still is so young. I think the experience is massive for him. Okay. Um, you seem to be saying that the uncertainty in the transfer window is affecting performance at the moment. Are you confident that will improve in September? Because you may have players who don't want to be here, who didn't get a move, or you may have lost players. If I am uh, agree, or what well, is your question is? Do you think it will improve in September? Because you may still have issues because maybe a player still at the club, rather less, or maybe you've lost a player by September. Are you confident in September? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think it's not an, an, an excuse. I am not complaining about the situation. They only explain the situation. The situation is that, of course, we still we need to wait what is, is going to happen with our squad. You know, maybe some player um, are still situation that thing can happen. We are not a, a close squad. Um, that no one is going to move, uh, maybe no one move, but of course that circumstance that is still is open, the, mar the market in Europe make difficult in the way that we, we work. And uh, this type of situation doesn't help uh, the coaching staff uh, to create a, a good dynamic. Of course that, that is, we are going to start, we start our sixth season on the Tottenham, and I think we are world champion adapting uh, ourselves to the different circumstances and it's a great experience uh, are going to be we are going to be one of the best coaches and uh, coaching staff in the world adapting on all the circumstances today when you play we, again a team like Manchester City um, with all the circumstances that we have uh, inside our team I think uh, 
to two, the rest of two, two and got one point. And it seems massive uh, credit to the to the team, to everyone that is working hard to try to you know uh, to keep going, working, um, trying that not be focused in the circumstance and, and try to be positive, faith, uh, hope, and that is massive. Um, I, I don't know if the people realize or no, but you know, I don't care about that. Uh, only that the circumstances are, are not the best, and and of course uh, the challenge is massive. Um, so happy uh, because the um, the will of the player, uh, the commitment of the player, uh, with all the circumstances, uh, we are fighting um, to try uh, to get the good result to deliver it for the for the club and for our fans, of course. Do two more, one from Phil, and then whoever wants the last one. Phil's then. Yeah. When, the, when the goal went in right at the end, did you actually think there was any sort of problem at all at first? And how would you feel if that decision had gone against your team for the same reason? No, I told before uh, your colleague, um, I accept now the VAR is, is in football. Um, I was a little bit critic in the, in the past. Uh, and, and of course, that wasn't for the people um, uh, nice to, to see it or to, to listen uh, from me. Um, I love the football, the football that was uh, 30 years ago, uh, 25 years ago, 20 years ago, 40 years ago. Uh, still now I am watching football from the past. You know, I love with the referee, because the referee is the boss, it's not another person that can take the decision. You know, if the referee see or not see, or it's wrong or right, uh, you know, that was the, the nice thing in football. But of course, now we cannot uh, give the, 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 the back to the, to the technology and the, the new era in football, and we need to accept. Of course, I'm going to accept the rules. I accept the rules, accept that when it's uh, for me, and I'm going to accept in the future, be because for sure it's going to, some decision is going to, to, to be again us, eh? for sure. Um, and I'm going to accept in the same way, with the same face, and, and of course, accepting that the, uh, the rules are, are the rules. The VAR is there, and and it's part of the of the game today. Yeah, there's a massive point you made, the initial point though, as well. Did you even know there was a problem at first, or were you just sort of? Yes, uh, Jesus told me, and um, we were uh, watching the situation because uh, to concede uh, in the last minute uh, from the corner, um, yes, was I was a little. We were uh, upset, and in that moment uh, was the VAR checking, and Jesus said to me, "Is, is humble," and yes. Um, Again, no, it's the same emotion like a few months ago when it happened in the Champions League. You know, you are out and you are in, uh, you know, and but still a few minutes more to play. You know, it's it's unbelievable this uh, this stadium with the VAR, no, and we thought <laughs> because not happened with another another team. Okay, finish with Ali down here. Mauricio, after the incident, you were talking to Pep for quite a long time. Can I just ask kind of what the conversation was? No, we were talking about the the VAR first, and. And of course, it was a conversation because uh, when we were in, in, in Barcelona, him in Barcelona and me in, in Espanol, always every six months uh, when we play again, always we met and play and talk, you know, because that is the habit or the, is to, to make that picture in between the two managers. But here it's not like this and it's difficult to, to find a way to, to meet some time and to talk. Um, it's true that we see each other in the Premier League meetings uh, a few weeks ago. But in that moment, uh, we keep going in different way, talking in conversation, in something we were agreeing, something we were disagreeing, you know, and, and then we spent two minutes that was good because we were not focused in the, in the game, we were focused, focused in our conversation, you know, but uh, everything okay. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you.